Brother Hunter were being shot at. You know what? Maybe if those were people who had tithe, they would understand. This sounds like the beginning of a recording. Oh, I mean, who knows? Maybe it is, <laughs> maybe it isn't. I'm not the YouTuber, so... Yeah. Hey, guys. Hi. Okay. So, the Centennial Shorty has been released to on Showdown. It's a pretty cool weapon. I like it. It is a competent sidearm for a two medium slot loadout. But also, I believe it to be quite good as well if you need something that has a little bit more bang for your buck. Because at the moment, being able to have two medium slot weapons silenced at the same time, like the Vedley Carabiner silenced and the Centennial Shorty silenced, is going to be pretty cool. At the moment, I'm doing some shenanigans using a bow with poison ammo, or just regular ammo in general, and the Centennial Shorty with FMJ. Uh, that's been pretty good. I've been uh, recently enjoying poisoning people, using poison scents, and then punching through whatever cover they're in. Because if you hit someone with a poison round, sure, they're poisoned and they might just move around so they don't get punched through a surface. But if someone's bleeding, which is what a poison arrow applies, it applies the bleed and the poison, there's a fair chance they're going to crouch behind cover and remove the bleed, allowing you to use poison sense and punch through it with the FMJ. Now, I have been successful doing that. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording at the time. However, uh, there's about 10 or so clips here. They're about uh, 9, 10, something like that clips that uh, it's going to be showcasing some gameplay of the Centennial Shorty with my friends. I've been playing some games recently with some home guy, home snack. Oh, I don't remember his name. He pays a lot of tithes. I like him. He's, he's okay. Um, please go check him out. His name's Home Real. I like him. Um, and I also was fortunate enough to get some games in uh, with David Fifield, the general manager of Crytek and Hunt, and it was really cool. Uh, just genuinely wonderful individual. Got to play with him. Uh, he was Operation Shiny Thing. <laughs> uh, so if you hear him talking in the background, yeah, that's what it's about. Anyway, the clips I'm about to show you, I will showcase some gameplay and some good stuff. And uh, you'll hear some commentary from me because I would like to point out that the way you get better as a Hunt player is, other than just playing the game, is being able to, if you have the ability, to reflect on your gameplay. And I was able to reflect on these moments and see what I could have done a lot better and things that I did right. Uh, I will actually, in typical Australian fashion, I will not talk about the things I did right. I will just comment on the things I did wrong because those are things I want to focus on and um, maybe you can pick something up for yourself. Anyway, enjoy the clips uh, and enjoy the commentary when I put it in. I'll usually pause the frame and uh, and bring it up. So, here we go. And here we go. Okay, so it's about at this moment here that you can see that there is a red barrel. And there's an individual just... He's, he's right there. He's right there. I see the red barrel. He's shooting his dual pistols. Now, at this exact moment here, yes, I can go for the headshot. Yes, I can go for the two-tap body tap. But the smartest option for me there would, be, would have been to just shoot the red barrel. Uh, however, I did not do that. And I know that you're probably screaming, shoot the red barrel, Alan, but I, yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> I was too worried about the guy on top of me. Nice had to, shot. Had to do it to him. Inside of something. Going for the res, probably. Yep. Nice. One more. Had to do it to him. Praise be. Well, that was just amazing. I'm healing behind a tree. One. Up there. Until you going in. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Good luck, good luck. Oh, no. He fed me a bullet instead. Oh, you Here traded. Oh, I did. Great. You did? Good work, mate. She's dead. Go ahead. Go ahead. She Can you open this door for me? Yeah, okay. Thank you, thank you. I have Necro. I'll get the rest. Yeah? Oh, he's right there still. I'm not going to shoot this metal. 75. She fell down. And you're up. 
Thank you. I saved you, buddy. <laughs> she did. Granada. Is he at the windmill or are you just ping that? I was direction? just pinging last spotted. Yeah, he he was. Good kill, good kill. Nice. That came from inside the longhouse and then one outside the fence, I believe. Yeah, okay. he's dead just 10 feet. Oh, outside the fence and he's running uh, towards you. Running west. Yeah, Nate coming start. in here. I got him eyes. Cane thrown over the fence. It's in the bush out there. We're giving the five field special, right? Thanks, That's the yeah. plan. The invisible caveman skin. Sorry. Right now, I'd be really excited for a choke arrow. Uh, cool. yeah, actually, I'd like that too. <laughs> uh, how about just a normal? Choke? Uh, he's pushing me here. Pretty hard. All right. Sure. If you, if you want to do it the old-fashioned way, home. I'm coming to you, Alan. He's inside with me. Thank you. Shit. I got another. Got him. There you go. Alright, Devil's Advocate left. Yep. I grabbed his upper, so I have some with some bang. Just testing walls. Sure. Nice. That'll do Good it. Job. Oh, sorry, if you hear Hunter and I saying praise be, it's from his last time we were playing, I made. I mentioned that I have a friend of a friend of mine who pays tithe, which I did not know was a thing in 2023. It still is, apparently. And Hunter yeah. said, well, what, if, what about me? Would I pay tithe? Like, I was like, no, you don't. And he's like, well, what if I did, though? And I'm like, it wouldn't bother me. He's like, yeah, all, all of my uh, all of my YouTube money goes to uh, tithe. I pay 100% tithe. And so <laughs> now, every time... Well, by, by, by definition, 100% can't be tithe. Cause tithe well, is, this is tithe times 10. <laughs> it's tithe, tithe, tithe times 10, 10. yeah. Just to be clear. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> So now we've been, now every time there's any sort of shootout or anything, uh, it, the response has always been, every time someone dies, if you ever hear me or him go, praise be, it's, we're referencing okay. that. Yeah, that's all it is. But not. They were the, cause, they, cause killing them was a tie? Absolutely, <laughs> yes. That's it. Yeah, praise be. We're going to kill 10% of the hunters. <laughs> exactly, yeah, praise be, he gets, yeah. That's why I've been praise be, brother hunter. <laughs> we've been... And we, it's very rough clown math of something abstract. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we were using I think like. It's funny because it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It. That was it, yeah. <laughs> we were using like Hail Mary and the Revenant, and it was great. Good firefight. Thank you. I will give you the rest. Now, this bit here, I'm about to throw a frag in that door to deter the teammate that's just above. Uh, this was not actually the right play by me because some of you may have noticed it already, but there is a meter there with those leeches. Now, the way that I'm about to throw that frag is I stood at the bottom of the ramp and AD-AD'd side to side and then threw the frag in. That, although is a great deterrent, my better option would have been to throw the frag in just immediately, stab a leech, and then just run up and go for the res. Because... What happens is, I throw a frag grenade, but because I'm AD, AD strafing at the bottom, well, you'll soon see. No, Someone I won't. in there. Oh no, that's not good. So at that point there, when I yelled, oh no, it's because obviously I was poisoned, but I was aware that that position that I had at the bottom of the ramp was exactly where I wanted to be. That frag is a deterrent, which means I could have walked up the stairs, or the ramp, sorry, and revive my partner. But because I got poisoned, therefore the meathead can see me, therefore he chases me away from an optimal position. I wanted to res you, but that uh, meathead's got gonna change okay. the conversation. My jumbled sentence there of I wanted to res you, but that meathead is going to change where I have to run is basically what I'm trying to communicate now. I think you set me on fire. I didn't mean to. It's okay. I do have chokes though. Right uh oh. Yep. Oh, am I dead? No, that's ball bearing. He's got ball bearing. That should reach you. Oh, it was it was Hunter who was also burning. Yeah. Oh, interesting. 
Oh, no. Dead. I wanted to stand there and be able to res my friends. Uh, that poisoning p pushed me out of position. Just a very good example of how crucial positioning in Hunt Showdown is. She's dead. Good kill. The others are across the water, I think. Yep. Yeah, out here in the water. Right. Praise be. Praise be. <laughs> what? Okay, she's tagged. Another one pushing me. Hit. She's hurt. This tree here. Right here, yeah. Right hurt. Right. Two hits, not dead. He's Thank dead. you, David. Right, one more. No, no, it's him. Oh, I've got bees on me. I, I, I had suppressing fire, that's all. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's across? Like, across the water? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, behind the berm is my guess. There's a she bounty there if you want it. Why does not going off? I'll flush her out of the middle. She's got an arrow in her. She's bleeding. Good work, mate. Anyway, that about covers it for the footage review and all that good stuff. There is uh, more long-form content on the way. I've just wanted to get something out, and playing with my friends and playing with the new weapon always feels good. So, wanted to show that off. Uh, a lot more stuff coming in the pipeline. If that's your thing, check it out. If not, no worries. Have a great day, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah! Have a good one. Okay, sorry. Uh, hang on. Uh, how do I stop recording? I bound this button for a reason.